In this recording, we will learn about the interior structure of the Earth. According to geologists, the Earth is divided into at least four different compositional layers. The outer moss, the one that we stand on, is known as the crust. This is mostly made of silicate rocks. Below the crust is the mantle. The mantle is a little more malleable than the crust, still made mostly of silicate rocks, but is a bit denser. The upper mantle is also the source of magma that erupts as lava on the surface in volcanism. Below the mantle is the core. The core is made of iron and nickel. The core itself is divided into an outer core and an inner core. The outer core is hot, dense, and liquid. It is also the source of our magnetic field. The inner core is hot, even denser, but due to the higher pressures, it is solid. We also need to answer the question, how do we know all of this? How do we know what is inside the Earth? First, we need some basic overall data about the Earth. What is its size, which we can pretty much measure directly? What is its mass? For that, we use the gravitational force. And if we divide mass by the total volume, we get the average density. This gives us our first clue as to the composition of the Earth. Second, we take a look at earthquake propagation. Earthquakes are a type of wave that has many different components, particularly there are the P waves, also known as primary or pressure waves, as opposed to the secondary S waves, also known as shear waves. When an earthquake happens on one side of the Earth, what is known as the epicenter, the waves will propagate right through the Earth, but not necessarily in a straight line. They tend to refract or bend as they travel through different density or texture material. By placing sensors, also known as seismometers, all over the planet, we can record the arrival time of these earthquakes and deduce their speed as they travel through the Earth and hence deduce the density structure. P waves travel through both solids and liquids although obviously in the interface they do tend to bend a little bit. S-waves, on the other hand, travel through solids, but not through liquids. It is this property of S-waves that reveal to us that the outer core must be of liquid form because Opposite the epicenter of an earthquake, no earthquake waves ever arrive, as opposed to P waves, which after a while are still detectable on the out other side of the earth. There are other clues as to the interior structure of the earth, including 
surface manifestations. Although, as a warning, volcanoes do not spew lava from the core of the Earth, it is actually from the upper layers of the mantle that magma forms and then erupts in volcanoes uh, on the surface. Tectonics, specifically on the planet Earth plate tectonics, give another clue. The clue that both of them give is that the interior of the Earth is hot and that heat is trying to uh, convect and to the surface and then radiate into space. Finally, the global magnetic field which we will cover in a later video, gives additional clues as to the interior of the Earth because it is consistent with our hypothesis that the Earth must have a metallic liquid outer core.